Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Journey of Life. Uh, I don't know if you heard at the very beginning there, the audio is a little low, but I did hear the wolves. Ow. They're clearly not on uh, this island, but I did hear them. So, uh, yeah, well, don't have to worry about them right now. I'm just going ahead and get, getting my uh, thirst and hunger dealt with. Because today we're going to go on a little bit of an adventure. We're going to do a little bit of exploring. It is morning, so light is gone. What we're going to do is going to go ahead and uh, turn the fire off. And just go ahead and click that button there. As you can see, it allows us to move stuff and dismantle things. And I like how it sort of burns out like that. Uh... Okay, yeah, I got a little lost in the menu there. I was hitting tab while I was still in there, but it was actually going through the the buttons on there. But anyways, uh, what I should do is probably start getting my hotbar a little set up a little bit better here. Uh, if you take things out of your inventory, yes, it does take it off the hotbar. So that is one thing to keep in mind. I'll go ahead and stack that, save some room, and let us go. So what we're going to do is, uh, we're actually going to get that out of my face because it's really intrusive, is we're going to go exploring. Uh, well, not really exploring because I know where we are got to go, but we're going to go up here. It would be nice if you could just take a nap instead of sleeping for like four hours. As I say, red sand in the morning is a sailor's warning. Uh, there's apparently weather in the game, uh, lots of basic stuff, but we'll see how all that goes. But... From what I remember, I believe the waterfall's over here. Uh, you can find clay around uh, around rivers. Yes, you can find clay around rivers. There's apparently a waterfall somewhere too, and I can't remember where it was. And I think I'm going the wrong way. I'm lost. There's no home indicator either. Anyways, run along with the derpy little rabbits and see if we can find the water. The waterfall of the clay. I, th I thought it was on this side here. I think it might be over here. I can't remember. Uh, yes, running does use stamina, not as much as using tools. Uh, upgraded tools do, use, do end up using less stamina. So we don't have to worry about it. You see what I mean with this island being deceptively large? It's a lot bigger than it looks. I think I'm in the wrong spot. Yes, it was the other way. Alright, well I'm going to run around and I'll try to find it. I'll be right back. I haven't found it yet. This, Like I said, this island is decept deceptively large. I think it's actually this way here somewhere, but... And there we go, the yucca, of course. Could have told me that earlier, but I think it might actually be over here somewhere. Aha. I think. Where is it? I have no idea. I could have sworn there was a river, like, right nearby, and they follow the river to a waterfall. Well, looks like I gotta run around a little bit more. So I shall return. I found it. Oh, jeez. Are you leaving me alone? Oh my god, that scared me. And that happened just as I started recording, too. But I found the clay. Yeah, it was the big, giant, monstrous thing that I saw. But, anyways, the question mark dirty water. Okay, I know about dirty water. Yes, we gotta boil that. Which means the clay is gonna be around here somewhere. And I think that's what that one is. So it's, it's gonna tell me. Love the cave system here. And, yes, clay. So these are clay boulders here. And we actually use a shovel to harvest them. And it takes a while. Actually, that's going really quick. Not compared to last time. Maybe it's something to do with my character. I have no idea. Alright, let's uh, see how many of these stack. Four at a time. We'll grab it a little bit more. There we go. Grab eight and just take a look around while we're here. 
apparently this is roughly the same area where we're, we're going to find the iron too. I have a feeling that might be it. It's actually quite loud. Anyway, so we have our clay. And we'll head back over here. Since I actually know where I'm supposed to go now. Uh, it wasn't actually too far away. I ended up going all the way the other way and didn't find it. And then I was trying to go away from a little island area. And that didn't work either. But it's going to take me a moment to get back there. So uh, let me find my way and I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back here. I wasn't too far away. But, but I was actually thinking that, you know, we have a nice area up here. When it comes time to building a shelter, we might have to start building up here. That way uh, I could build it tall enough so I can actually see where I'm supposed to go. So I don't get lost all the time. Oh, I didn't know there was seagulls. Well, that could be fun. Okay, so here we are. So we got the clay. Let's go ahead and make a... Actually, I think we have to go in here to make it. We need... What do we need? Handmade clay pot. Okay, go ahead and craft one of those. And then it goes in our inventory. Now, this one is actually quite interesting. Place it on top like so. Grab a fire starter. Let me light the fire. And what will happen, as you can see, it says raw. When it reaches a high enough temperature, it'll actually become baked clay. So that is really cool. As you can see, the temperature is slowly climbing. We'll add a little bit more fuel to the fire. That goes up, gives a higher temperature. And that will go ahead and we'll cook so it's baked. So I'm going to go ahead and take that. We'll take it with me so I can boil some water when we get back. Uh, let's leave some stuff behind here. As you can see, too, some tools actually require two hands, like the shovel and uh, the fire starter, but things like the axe. I'm wondering if maybe that's why I was swinging lower, uh, swinging less with the axe. I had something in my other hand at the time. That is possible. All right, so what was I doing? We need to go find ore. So now apparently the ore was actually really close by the clay. Gotta move my hot bars around again. Let's put that on number six so we know it's always there. So we have our little makeshift pickaxe. Now, from what they said in Steam, because I actually had to try to find the iron, I had no idea where it was. I thought maybe I had to use the shovel to dig it in the ground to find it. But apparently there's a cave close by here. That has the iron. That's what I'm hoping, anyways. And as you can see, look at this. Like, there's so much stuff laying on the ground. All these flat rocks and sticks. So building something shouldn't be too hard, as you can see. Like basically everything you see here can be cut down. We can level the entire island if we want. But here we are. Water. And we have buzzards, apparently. Cool. So, where are we going? I was told there was supposedly a cave close by the waterfall. This is the waterfall. Let's go run over here and see what we have. i grab some dirty water while I'm there too so we can boil that up. And it's really, really cool too when you put, some, uh, put the clay pots on the and uh, on the fire to to boil and all that stuff you can actually start to see the steam come out of the top so a lot of detail has been put into it a lot of attention to detail has been put into it and it's actually quite interesting to see where it's going to go hmm could this be the cave is this where I gotta go Uh, I can make a torch in the game. I think I need to light it with fire starter. But let's see what we have here. I don't know, I'll find it because there's going to be a big giant white exclamation point pointing at it saying, hey, this is iron. Hmm. Nothing over here. I'm also trying to keep, uh, keep uh, track of my bearings, knowing which way I'm running. 
home should be that way. At least that's what I'm hoping. Have we got anything in here? Maybe I have to go in the waterfall. Hmm. Not seeing much. So I'm going to do a cut here. I'm going to do a little bit of exploring and I'll bring you back if I find something. Okay, I found another marker and this might be it. Wolf den. Okay. <laughs> We won't be going in there. Or anywhere near there. I was hoping that was going to be it. But it would make sense that they put the the wolves right next to the iron. This island is huge. Like, it's unbelievable how big this island is. Still haven't found the iron yet. Oh. What is that? What is that white thing spinning off in the distance? That can't jump too well. Mine. Alright. Oh, cool. Yeah, there's an optional elevator you can build in here. Alright, so we are apparently in the area. Let's see what we can find here. Oh, jeez. How do I get down there? Can I make a torch? I need one fiber. Oh, one fiber rope. Okay, let's see if we can find a stick on the ground. Uh, let's go over here. Nothing. 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 No, oh, it's got to be a stick somewhere. I guess I'll have to cut down a bush. Oh, let me up. Uh, I'll get it from you better. Max is going to break up, I bet you. I know this too, if you look at the ore preparation quest. Uh, build an ore crushing station should be first before placing it. Oh, I have just... Oh, it's dry stick. That's not what I wanted. That's what I want. Go over to the bush here and make sure there's nothing on the ground. And go ahead and cut this down see if I can get a torch out of this. Tool is broken. Of course it is. Uh, apparently there's a way of actually repairing it, and I did not get what I wanted. Alright, well, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna find some water too. Oh, still no stick. Come on, you serious? I'll be back. I'll walk ten feet and I find it. <laughs> Go figure. Okay, craft that. Now, I don't know how to actually use this thing. Do I have to light it? Apparently not. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I know I'm thirsty. I gotta find this mine again. I think it was. I think it was over here. I think so. And I'm not going to lie, I am lost. Absolutely no idea where I am or where I go. Okay, so this is the mine here. Let's see if I can actually get in there. Without falling in, falling in, that is. Okay. Where do you start? Yeah, not getting in that way. Nope. Let's try the other side. I might have. To, oh, I can't even cut down a tree right now. Okay, this way looks a little safer. Uh, I don't know if fall damage is a thing or not. Uh, let's hope. Hopefully, we don't find out the hard way. 
Yeah, there's absolutely no way to get in there. How on earth do I find the iron? That's not iron rock. Hmm. Let me figure this one out, uh, shall we turn? I was just going to head home, uh, head back to the beach here to get some water and all that stuff because I can't make a tool, but what is this? Oh, okay. This is actually where we're going to go mining. This is the cave I was thinking about. Now, I think this is the waterfall, so I think this way is back to the beach. I hope. It's a beach. Not my beach. I think mine's over here. Anyway, I shall return. Alright. So I'm back. I, I grabbed a couple of coconuts. I got my water on the thing here. As you can see, it says as you can see it says dirty water. Temperature rises, and then I don't know how long it takes, but eventually the dirty water will become clean water so I can drink it. I don't know how long that's going to be. Uh, it is getting dark, so I'm going to wait out the night. I might clear out a few things. I had to make a new axe because my axe broke. And there we go. We have clean water, just like so. So now I can go ahead and drink that, but I'm going to save that for when I actually need it. Anyway, I shall return. Okay, I am back. Uh, there's one other thing we're going to do before we head off to, and uh, I think it would be in here, or tools... No, it's going to be over here. We're going to grab one of these because we're actually going to need this. Because what I want to do is I want to make a chopping block. And the reason for being is so I can actually cut up wood and put, place into a fire. Uh, those log blocks we can't actually place in there. Firewood station. Now all we do is we build a chopping block. we we'll place that there. And then we need a hammer. Like so. And then what we do, we... Uh, a finder long. We'll go ahead and pick that up. This is how this works. We actually drag that onto the chopping block. If it'll actually stay put. Yeah, the physics. Uh, game needs some tweaking. Okay, just like so. And then we get out of here and we just hit it. No, we hit it with an axe, not a hammer. And there we go. Then we actually get two chunks of wood which are actually burnable. Because it weren't, wasn't burnable before, but now it is. And then we can upgrade this. We can, we'll can actually need an iron belt for that, but I'm not, not going to do that because I haven't figured out how to actually revert back from the crafting. But anyways, we are good to go. I have some water on me just in case. I have had a couple of coconuts, so I should be surviving. So now, let's go do some mining. Now let's hope I can actually find this place again. Not having a map or a compass really makes things difficult. But the only point of reference I have is this giant rock next to my my little beach. And I think for the torches, I think you actually have to light them off, of, uh, off the fire itself. So I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, I did have another run-in with some boars. They left me alone, which is it's good. That's fine. So now, where was this cave? I think it was... I think it was actually over here. Uh, as far as I know, we don't have to worry about the wolves until late at, late at night. Like I said, I have heard them. Was this the cave? I think it was. Hope this is the right cave. Alright. Yes, I apologize for it being dark, but we're in a cave. What can you expect? Okay, let's see what we have here. Wow. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can actually adjust the brightness. We got mushrooms in here too. Really? Can we pick them? No, we can too. Cool. Oh, the limestone deposit. Oh, cool. Am I actually picking up mushrooms? I am. Cool. I got some food. So where is this iron? Oh, there's iron right there. I don't know how well you're seeing it, but I can sort of see it. Nope. Am I not hitting it? Oh wow, this takes a while. 
We got iron, so I gotta collect ten of these. Uh, I'm gonna collect until my pickaxe breaks, so I shall return when I'm done. Okay, that didn't actually take too long. That one boulder got me eleven pieces. Uh, apparently, all the rocks in there are limestone deposits, so we can go in in there and get all the limestone we need to make bricks when the time comes. Anyway, so now we got the ore, so now we gotta build an ore crusher crushing station. It's going to be right here. So I need eight straight sticks, four flat fiber ropes, and one flat rock. All right, so I need the sticks. I need the flat rock. We'll place these down here for now. Uh, same with the mushrooms. And now I need sticks. What did I kick? I thought, I thought I'd kick something. All right, what do we have here? I see some sticks. I got four sticks. Okay. How many did I need? I needed uh, more crushing station. I need eight sticks, four rope, and a flat rock. All right. Well, I gotta find a few more sticks, so I shall return. Okay, I have everything. Uh, I even have inventory space too, which is surprising. So I need to make a four flat fiber ropes. Okay, this time it didn't bug out on me. I have my flat rock, and and it didn't, I didn't make all my uh, ropes. Now I did. Again, I will say early access, but that doesn't matter. Okay, so uh, what are we building? Or crushing station. Hmm. We're also going to have to build a furnace, too. Uh, I think next episode we're going to start building a little place to make the call home where we can start setting things up. All right, so let's go to hammer. And that is not a hammer. That's a hammer. I like how it actually shows a picture, too. And now on to the next part of it. I actually like that. Where you actually have to build the things. Alright, so now we have the ore crushing station. We've placed it, we built it. And the quest seems to be bugged. Again. So let me do a save and reload. Okay, well apparently that quest is a bit bugged. And you can apparently hide it with K. Uh, so from that, I don't really know what to. I know that uh, when it's on here, we actually, I think we're supposed to hit it with a hammer. And that gets us iron ore ball. Oh, interesting. I like that. Actually interacting with uh, the stations. Ore needs to be baked. Alright, so from there, we can go ahead and pick that up. And now we need a smelting furnace. I know that's the next one we get into, a smelting furnace. Which needs clay, an air chamber, and a lot of high density rock. And I think we might end up getting to that one, because uh, we ended that next episode. Uh, just because... I'm wondering... Does it actually say what temperature it needs? No, it doesn't. Hmm. I wonder what we can actually do with that. Let's, uh, let's have a look here. Nothing there. Oh. Oh, yes. As you can see, this is going to just get really complex, so I think I might have to go get some get some clay. But what I think we can do while in the meantime is we can start getting some storage going. And I think it was under stations. Go down here, we can get a thatch chest, uh, which has nine slots. We can also make a, a wood one too, but I think we need planks for that. And maybe what we'll do, just for the sake of it, we'll actually upgrade our workstation. So I need to find 25 straight solid sticks. So I'm going to be the, do the smart thing, and I'm going to go gather them all up off the ground instead of cutting new stuff down, because I know there's a whole bunch up in here. 
I'll just go up into the bushes here, and there's usually sticks everywhere. I know it's because I was catching up, seeing them as I was running by. As you can see, there's like rocks around and sticks and all that stuff. So uh, let me recycle some materials, and I shall return. And just like that, I'm done. Uh, also, I had trouble fi trying to figure out how to uh, drink out of here. Apparently, there's no prompt. You put it in your right hand slot and you have to hold E for the thing to show up. So, that is that. So, I know how to drink and keep myself alive. So, let's go ahead and finish up our workstation. And then you'll be able to see like how far it actually gets as far as crafting goes and the things we can build. Uh, one of the things I probably do want to do because my tools are wearing out is building a grindstone. I have no idea how long that's going to take. Oh, excuse me. Okay, I have my frame, frame indicator up. But yeah, apparently that iron ore recipe or, or preparation quest is bugged and they're going to fix that in the next episode. Or then the next update. So then that op expands the number of things we can build significantly. Like we can make molds and all sorts of different things because metal gets casted. Okay, so there we go. So that's where I make my metal tools. Uh, apparently, tools are modular, so you can replace the handle and the tool the tool head if you wish. Uh, again, brings up more things we can do herb stations plank steamer a lathe you can make barrels the barrels you actually have to make curved planks with the plank steamer so you can do all sorts of interesting things and even a forge up to 3500 wow and then this i have no idea exactly what this is all about but we'll figure that out eventually but i think it's a good place to call the episode uh did get some things doing going. We got our first ore process. We still got to make the furnace and all that stuff, but I got to do a whole bunch of clay collecting off camera. And with that, I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.